Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand time to live TTL in IPv4 header. So this is a, a header field in the IPv4. So uh, third row, which is present in the third row of the IPv4 header, and uh, uh, the concepts related to the first row and the second row, the fields related to the first row and the second row has already been explained in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. And every video on our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now coming to this class so what is this time to live time to live ttl is a value for the period of time that a packet should exist on the network before being discarded so it is the value so the value that is provided in the time to live period uh, time to live uh, field is going to decide uh, uh, it is going. Uh, it is going to. It is. It is going to decide the period of time that a packet should stay in the network. So after that, if if it crosses that limit, it it will get discarded. So that is decided by this time to live. And here is the field. This is the first field of the third row. This is the first field of the third row, and it is uh, 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 the length of this is eight bits. So using uh, eight bits, we are going to declare the value for time to live before understanding why we have to provide that concept uh, why we have to provide that field called uh, time to live we will try to understand the concept called routing loops so there is a problem called routing loops uh, in the network so what this problem that we will try to understand uh, here we have taken uh, there are two networks uh, and it is connected to the internet uh, uh, internet and here a wants to communicate with b and what the a will do is it, it is going to identify the shortest distance the algorithms for the shortest distance we will try to understand in our later classes at this point of time let's assume that this is the shortest distance so it is clearly evident uh, uh, that it is the shortest distance in order to transfer the packet from a to b it has to take it has to go from this router to this router and from here to here and there it will reach the destination for example uh, if if the link between the between for example assume that it is uh, one router one two and three and in order to transfer the packet it ha the uh, the packet has to be transmitted from one to two and two to three and let's assume that uh, let's assume that the link between two and three has been uh, uh, had uh, this this link has been cut off so there is no transmission between uh, two and three now that information has not been received to the a so as the router 2 router has router 2 has to intimate that the link the link between 2 and 3 has been uh, is not working anymore so and this information has to be transferred from router 2 to router 1 but there is a period of time within that period of time the router one does not know that the link has been spoiled the, there is no uh, link between router 2 and router 3 so in that period of time for example if the packet transmission is done what the router a will do is it will continuously send the packets to this router this uh, first router will send the in order to transmit the data to this uh, destination it will send the packets to this router and uh, what this router will do is as as this link is not there this link is not there anymore what this router will do is the best path to transmit this is from here to here and from here to here and uh, what this router will do is the same packet will be again retransmitted to this router and what this router will do is again the same packet will be transmitted to router 2 and this router will uh, uh, again transmit it to router 1 so this is what we call it as a routing loops in the problems with the routing algorithms in the routers at a particular period of time there is a possibility to create routing loops okay so by with that routing loops what the packet will do is the packet will stay in the network indefinitely it is going to stay in the network for infinite amount of time so this problem has to be addressed how that can be addressed is it is done by using time to live and what is the value that is given in the time to live field is it is the hop count 
what does that mean hop count means it is the number of uh, number of uh, systems or routers or computers that the packet is transmitting so it should not cross that number for example uh, if the time to live if the time to live value given is 5 means within the 5 hop counts so for example if if the router is going good if the router is going good and the value given is assume that the value given is uh, 3 okay so in the time to leave field in the time to leave field uh, assume that the value is given is 3 and this network line is uh, working fine there is no problem so the packet will be first transmitted from here to here and the hop count the time to leave value now 3 will be uh, reduced to 2 as one hop has been done one hop has been moved the packet has been has been moved from one system to the router uh, to the default router now the hop count or the town time to live the value in the time to live will be decremented by one okay what is the next hop from here it will move to here and here the value of time to live will again decremented to one uh, decremented by one so that value uh, two has been changed from two to one now again to here here the packet has been received at this router uh, received at this router and the value one will be decremented to zero value one will be decremented to zero as this value is zero as this value is zero here the packet will get discarded here the packet will get discarded so uh, so from this as the value has become zero the value will get discarded and the router will send an icmp packet to this source system so what this icmp packet it is an error message about this icmp protocol we'll try to understand in our later videos so here this ipmp protocol will send an error message stating that the time to live has been uh, expired so the, the, there is no possibility for me to send the packet further so the packet has been discarded now again what the system will do is it will change its value from 3 to uh, uh, it is uh, it started with 3 right so it has it will change it to 4 now again the packet will get transmitted here the value of uh, time to live is 4 as and when the packet is received here this 4 will be decremented to 3 so the next hop next hop is from here to from this router to this router here the time to live will uh, time to live will be de decremented to 2 and from the next hop is from here to here here the time to live will be decremented from 2 to 1 the next hop is from here to destination here the time to live will be decremented from 1 to 0 as it has been received at the destination if the time to will uh, time to live value has been decremented to 0 the packet will get accepted so uh, as the packet has been received by the destination if the time to live value uh, after reaching the destination if it if it has been changed to zero then uh, then the value uh, then the packet will be accepted by the destination it will not get discarded so try to understand that point zero at the destination the value of time to live if the value of the time to live is zero at the destination the packet is accepted if the value of the time to live is zero at the router then that will get discarded then that will get discarded so try to understand that point okay so uh, this is how the time to live will help us to come out of the uh, uh, infinite loop problem or it is a routing loop problems hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited. Thanks for watching.